You haven't always been keen to parley with us. Then again, they were with us in the Tuscarora Wars between 1711 and 1714. Or was it 1715? <sighs> Several prominent Cherokee visited King George II some 40 or so years ago. And, of course, they fought with us against the French. <laughs> that said, there was that trouble with the Cherokee Rebellion in 58. Forgive me for saying so, Major, but... Oh, my apologies. You asked one simple question about past allegiances. I bored you half to death with my ramblings. No. Sometimes we get a better idea of what's to come when we look at what's gone by. But, as I was going to say, in speaking with them, it seems they are undecided as to what they want. And what do you think they want? It's more a question of what they don't want. Settlers crossing the western boundary. <coughs> oh. There's an expectation the Crown will intervene. Take a more aggressive stance. But are you suggesting that we send soldiers? Not soldiers. Forgive me, uncle. But they did say what they wanted. Ian. <coughs> oh, blast. <coughs> Have you a cat, Colonel? Yeah, we had so uh, hiding somewhere here about. Look, the plight of the Indian. <laughs> Wretched creatures. They always seem to suffer in their presence. Indians. Cats. Although, some Indians as well. Oh, oh forgive me. I mean, need to summon will you? Excuse me. He's a fucking kite. It's over, obviously. This is a hundred grand easy. Where have you been? I, uh, I couldn't sleep. Clearly. I went out and one thing led to another. But the important thing is that this was an accident. I saw an opportunity and I took it and, and this is it, Erin. This is us getting out of the hole. I wasn't aware that we were in a hole. Well, you know, my, my rehab's still on the credit cards and there's another uh, few... Um... <clears throat> Look, this is it. The way out. We took money out of the house to pay off the rehab. But you didn't pay it off. And you spent that money because you never stopped. You're pathetic. I'll sort myself out. I, I, I promise. This is what I needed. A clean slate. You've never wanted for anything in your life, and that includes clean fucking slates. This is different. You know, Adrian, people like you, you grow up with so much safety that you think danger is exciting. Well, it's not. It's pain and misery and desperate men doing desperate things. I was thinking that maybe we could I'm speak leaving to... I'm now. I'm going upstairs, packing a bag, and I'm leaving. And I wish you luck. Because a man like you in a world like that is going to need plenty of luck. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do next. That's how it starts. Hands behind your back, Nicholson. Where is it, Steve? You flush it. You cunt flushed it. Got an inmate with half a fucking nose out there. I couldn't care less how he feels about that, but I will lock you up for the fucking piece, do you hear me? Where is it? I ain't got nothing. OK. OK, chuck him in. You see who did it? No. You were standing right there. You started early, haven't you? Fucking shit breeds quickly in here, eh? I know one of you two chomped his nose. I didn't do anything, sir. Well, one of you did. If you didn't, did he? Nah, he was with me. I just had to kick off. Don't even fucking bother, OK? Your friend here, he's done a lot of his bird in solitary, so we know he can take it. But can you, hmm? Because if I don't get an answer from either one of yous, you're the one taking the fall. You've got 10 seconds to tell us. Or get yourself ready for an hour's recce a day for the next three months. One. Two. 
three, four, five, six. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Get him out of here. You're really gonna let him take that? What a fucking man. <laughs>